guys, it's Mal. We're glad to be back. Uh, been out for a while, as a lot of you may have noticed. Uh, I've not been doing any videos uh, for nearly a year now. Um, had a few health issues. Uh, knee issue, some of you already know, was is shot. And also I had a mild heart attack at the back end of last year. And ended up having to, three stents fitted. Um, so uh, a bit floored me for a while. But we're... Had it all fixed and we're back out again. I uh, managed to get out into the rowing field and got myself some two new uh, micro SD cards for my GoPro. And guess what? They're both faulty. So I've lost all the footage, um, which ain't good. Uh, it was windy anyway, so I doubt the, the footage would have been any good. And we had a good day out there. Managed four hours. My knee managed to hold up. And I always think that that rowing field is empty, but no, look at this lot. All this lead, bits of wire, bits of a tube thing, whatever, bits of fittings, and lots of tiny little bits. Uh, using the Equinox 800 with the Coiltec 10x5 coil on there, it certainly pulls out all the tiny little bits. I've got some of these tiny bits and um, pieces sat on the thruppy bit here to show you how small they were, and they give lovely clear signals, and keeps you busy. <laughs> so that aside, finds wise. Uh, as usual, we did quite a few. Uh, we got a bit of a uh, harness decoration. This one here, it's a nice cartwheel brass. Bits of uh, off an old lock. I've got the scutcheon plate and the keep plate. A lead seal. A uh, big brown bass musket ball. Uh, you wouldn't want one of these hitting you at speed. Uh, what else we got? Uh, we got a 2p and the coins. Uh, got looks like a Georgia second. Half penny, uh, one, two, three, four, six Romans, all, all little grots anyway. Looks like we've got a bit of a Celtic bronze as well. A bit of a Celtic toggle, a uh, tiny little one. And you can see the from there it's uh, been well bashed. Uh, the last time I was in there we got a, got a whole one, so there are a few still about. A uh, handfuls, couple of handfuls of buttons, uh, which looks... Also, which looks like we've got a bit of a strap end as well, so I'll see if we can identify that. It is broken quite a, uh, both ends, so we never know. Uh, a bit of silver, probably off a, a walking cane or a riding crop. Um, it's all bashed up, it's been well hit with the plough, that one. And to finish off, we've got a half crop. Um, could be Elizabeth, could be a James, and definitely a Tudor one. It looks like this from the period with a but there's very little on it, so we'll have to see if we can get the details off it and get that cleaned up and see what else we can find. So, I'd just like to thank all your subscribers who have stuck with me since I, I haven't been um, putting videos up for quite a while. And I'm glad you stuck with me. So if any of you new subscribers like to hit the notification bell, I'm gladly join the channel. And I look forward to getting back out again in that roaming field in the next couple of weeks. Uh, we've got the Easter period coming up. And it's only just been seeded, so... I'm allowed to go in there till the crop is uh, really through, about six inches high, and the farmer says, so that's not too bad. So a few more weeks in there and see what else we can find. Uh, maybe get a, a bit of Celtic as well, a bit more Celtic. I would love to get out of that field. I know it's in there. So it's your pal Mal signing off now. I had a good hunt out there. I'm going to have to go to the oh no, Amazon again and uh, get some more cards ordered, but I won't be ordering those ones <laughs> again. So it's your pal Mal signing off now. Catch you in the next one. Cheers, guys.